Hey everybody, I'm here with Jaden Webb, three and one. Man got a big fight coming up, peak fighting, 125 champion. It's a rematch. Rematch. Man, you met uh, Juan Smith. I seen that fight at 360. 360. Uh, yes, sir. Little Rock. And uh, of course, of course, he got you a second round submission. Second round submission. What are you going to bring to the table for him this time? What's the difference in Jaden Webb na uh, then and now? I've been training my butt off. My team has been pushing me all, all wrestling, uh, Muay Thai, everything, pushing my well round game. So there's going to be a lot of different skills that he didn't see the first time, and he probably won't expect. It's going to be a really good fight. Really good fight. I know that's been like about a year and a half ago, I guess yes, it was, sir. and you've had. Uh, I was uh, 17 years old at the time. So that puts you at one and one. You've won two straight. Yes, sir. Two. You uh, uh, started out first couple fights at 360, and then you went up to the peak fighting. Yes, sir. Got a couple fights in. Now you you're defending now the belt. Defended against. Oh wow, sir. man. It's, I mean, I wanted the rematch right after, you know, but I had to give it a little time. And, just so happen I have the belt now that he's, he's trying to get it now. So it's going to be a whole different fight. I've trained well round for this fight right well, now. Well, you know, I, I'm, I know you, you went through a couple of pretty pretty strong uh, guys, Ricardo Lee Ricardo and uh, Lee, Sonny, Sonny Dawson. Yes, sir. And, and uh, I know Sonny. I've seen Sonny fight for Pyramid. And, mm -hmm. man, he's a tough guy. He just picked up a big win and, uh, a couple weeks ago, yes, I think, yes, somewhere old in Oklahoma. It was a great It was a great fight. And you and your three wins is all first round submissions. Yes, sir. First round submissions. So, can you predict on how this fight's gonna go? Um. Or do you, you know, want to? Or are you just? Uh, I'm. You know, I'm just gonna say it's gonna be a very good fight and a very different fight. I want. I want you to see the full me. You know, but you know, all these. Everybody hasn't seen me yet. Just in them three fights, I had a really short fight, so they haven't seen the full picture. And I'm ready for our, put on a show for Pete. A very good fight for him. I know. I seen your first fight at uh, 360, and I was like, "Wow, man, this guy ain't can't beat him more than 16." You're 18 years old. Yes, sir. 18. So years when old. when did you start fighting in the cage? You had to be 14, 15. Yeah, I was, was, I was young. I, I know. I started training for the cage at early 13 years old. Training for the cage, and I, I trained for a long time for you know 16 because you have to be 16 to step in the cage. So I waited till I was 16, and and that's I've been doing it ever since, and I love it. And, was that a decision that you, that you made, or did you did you get together with your father? You know, your father, John Webb, the big yes, athletic commission, uh, grandmaster. Yes, sir. I mean, is, is he your number one guy? Oh, he is my number one inspiration for sure. John Webb, he, he did everything for me. He worked me all the way up from little age. I started at three, jiu-jitsu at three. He worked me up all the way, and now we're MMA fighter. You know, he, he's my number one coach, and he, maybe he can't be my corner, but... You know, he's my, he's my coach. Oh, he's in your corner, yes, I guarantee you. Yes, <laughs> but uh, so, so that's really, he's the one that gives you the final word, say, yes, hey, son, he's, I think you can do this. Yes, and sir. he's who, who I turn to in this sport, for yeah. sure. Yeah, I like John. I, I see him at all the fights and stuff. Yes, and uh, Well, man, you got, you know, you, you defend this title. I mean, so what are your, what are your plans after, after, I know I don't want to get too far ahead, but. But I mean, are you going to go bounty hunting? Because I mean, you got MMA Max. They just crowned a new 125 champion, and Jared Ray. Mm -hmm. uh, you got Pyramids. You know, they just put on a uh, show with uh, some top contender 125ers. You yes, know, sir. Austin Foster and so even. That's, so that's the goal to move over in these different organizations. You know, at first I'm kind of just building. You know, getting my experience up. But eventually, yes, I am going to go bounty hunt for different belts for sure before I go pro. Well, let's get past this next one first, though, yes, huh? Yes, sir. I'm all focused on Juan right now. Juan's the only guy I'm focused on. So now you're out of school. You graduated last year. Yes, sir. Okay. So you're training full-time? Pretty much full-time, yes, sir. And are, are you, I actually, I've seen a video where you're teaching some jujitsu. Yes, sir. I, I actually teach uh, kids jujitsu on the side and kids MMA and kickboxing and so. stuff. I do that a little bit on the side too. <laughs> so now, now you guys was BB Martial Arts, yes, sir. And you just recently changed to Five Hundred One Fight Club, yes, sir. Is that correct? Five Hundred One Fight Club, and the reason we did that is because I feel like you know we're really an MMA based gym, so you know the name needed to be changed a little bit. Things need yeah. to be done, and I think it's it's working out for the best for this gym for sure. Hell, go ahead and spit out the address of your fight club, you know, because I, I, I'm... Yes, sir. It's uh, 200 uh, DeWitt Henry Road in BB Arkansas. Y'all come check it out. Great, great gym and great people. 
I know. I know you got several. Cha- I know where well, you're champion. Yes, you got Avery. Avery yeah, Wilson. Avery he's Wilson. a pyramid. Uh, pyramid champion. Heavyweight yeah. champion. He got a big fight coming up in Bitten. Yeah, a coming. Uh, a couple of lower, rank, uh, lower. You know, building up debuters coming. Kevin Miner, Weston Thompson. We have a lot of people coming up that y'all, y'all will. Yeah, I was see. really. I've been really impressed with that Weston Thompson. He's a young yes, guy coming up. So and, much hard. I've been training with him since he's been my best friend for. Yeah. Wow, I've been training with him a long time, and finally for him to pay off and get in the cages. So yeah, and you got so a exciting. you got a pretty pretty swift uh, two hundred five or uh, Caleb Davison. Yes, sir, Caleb Davison. He trains he's here, and yes, sir, he's a very good fighter, very good. He has a lot of motivation when he come, when he comes to class. Caleb, get in class. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Caleb, you heard him get in class, man. <laughs> so man, here we go, man. You got the big fights January the eighteenth. January eighteenth, yes, sir. It's uh, and uh, actually you got the. Uh, uh, Ashton Kirby's on that card. Ashton Kirby, yes. And he's a, he's bounty hunting for them belts, yes, man. That'd be his oh, fourth yeah. title. Fourth title, I know. That's, that's all he just right. defending this title over at V3. And yeah, he has so many belts. I need to catch up. <laughs> uh, hey, man, I'll tell you what, that kid is phenomenal, he is man. Very, he's very one of phenomenal. the top 155ers I ever laid eyes on, Me man. Too. I'm telling you, he's going to be UFC too. <laughs> so, Jaden, what's, what's your goals, man? Goes to be in the UFC. It always has been, and that's that's just what I'm gonna work for. Keep on coming up and training my butt off, and eventually I hope it pays off. So, what motivates you the most? Motivates me the most is just you know to get to that next level. And, and I mean, you you got these guys, Bryce Mitchell, T.J. Brown, and Justin Frazier. I mean, Thomas Gifford. All these Arkansas guys are. I mean, they are fire, man. Yes, and I mean, they're. I'm telling you, it's the Arkansas heart. I'm telling you. And Does that motivate you, oh, knowing it, that it, them guys oh, are? Yes, sir. It puts fuel to the fire. I mean, Bryce is from y'all's area, yes, right here yes, in uh, Searcy, I, I BV. Yeah, he's very good. I look up to. He's one of the Arkansas MMA fighters I look up to. So you know. Man, he's a I'm killer, just super to dude. His footsteps and get up there to the big show with yeah. him. He's a super cool guy. Yes, I know that, super man. Super cool. I love him. <laughs> well, man, I, you know, I always hope the best for you. You know, yes, uh, you. I think his fight's going to be in Hot Springs. Yes, sir. Hot Springs Convention Center. Yeah. So, I mean, hey, if you're around the Hot Springs area, come out and see this guy, man. Yes, Jaden Webb, he's 3 and 1. He's the peak fighting champion. It's going to be a battle. It's going to be a very good fight. It's going to be a very different fight. I'm ready for it. It's going to be a different Jaden than yes, the first sir. time. Very different Jaden, yes, sir. Because, like I say, earlier you, you met a year and a half ago, yes, and sir, so a lot can happen in a year and a half. Yes, sir, it can. It'll show. I promise. <laughs> so, Jaden, anything else you want to add, man? You want to uh, give a shout out or thank give you? A shout or? out to this gym, 501 Fight Club, my dad, John Webb, my family, and uh, all the teammates that have been pushing me Weston Thompson, Kevin, Avery, all these great, great fighters and motivators. Gary, thank you, Gary, in my corner, and my cousin Chris in my corner. So, I'm very excited. And I want to give a shout out to my sponsors, too um, Eric's Pool Service. Um, um, Hunley Construction, Mad Dog Construction, thank you very much. Andrew Reynolds, my massage therapist, thank you very much. And it's going to be a very great show. Come out, please. Hey, hey, folks, you get out there and use these sponsors, man. Help, help these guys, man, uh, reach their goals. You know, you see them at the fight, give them a shirt. I mean, buy a shirt from them, man. Give them $20 for gas. Yes, sir. You know, they train every day that just to put on a show for you guys. Yes, sir. And they deserve, you know, a lot of recognition. So, you know, if you see these guys at a fight, you know, hand them 20 bucks, 10 bucks, or, you know, a little gas money, or buy a shirt from them, and, you know, pat them on the back. Get an autograph. I mean, you never know these guys. I'm telling you, Arkansas's on the come. Arkansas is, is, is booming right now, man. And So, man, one more question. So, you're the only boy. Have you got any brothers? No, sir. I don't have any brothers. I have two sisters, actually. I know you had a couple sisters. Believe it or not, they're a little hard to deal with. Because, <laughs> that was my next question, man. <laughs> do yeah, they man. do they gang up on you, man? They, or, they or do gang up on me. I yeah. had to do a two-on-one battles all the time when I was growing up. There so. you go. So that's kind of put uh, that's probably what it got me put that mental me. toughness yes, in you. Yes, sir. I definitely got some mental toughness, man. All right, man. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, Jaden Webb, three and one, peak fighting championship. And this guy has got goals, and he's not going to stop there. Yes, sir. So tune in, check it out. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jaden.